Hey, what's up, guys? Alex here, and, um, I just wanted this, this, um, and I'm sorry if I'm talking a bit weirdly, I, anyway. Today, we're doing, I'm gonna be reacting to another one of Ryan's videos, um, this is one of Minecraft Live videos, I absolutely love the series, and this is also the first use of my new microphone. Also, um, the video audio from this is gonna be a bit, uh, weaker, because I, when I used my screen recorder, I didn't set it to the right microphone, so I recorded on my laptop microphone instead of this microphone. Just so we get that in place, let's just get to the video. I thought it'd be nice to pay a visit since you were walking around my dorm. This whole place? Nah, pretty lame if you ask me. But I guess you belong in here, lame as you are. <laughs> so, don't forget your place ever again. You hear me? And that's why I didn't sleep so well. I still don't know how you got that black eye. You're lucky I could heal it for you. I told you, I fell from my bed. <laughs> it's true, we were talking too much about me. Uh, tell me about yourself. I slept well, thanks for asking. No, I mean, how do you feel about today? Do you feel ready? <laughs> well, ready or not, we're on our way to the airport. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. It's okay to be nervous. I'm a little nervous too. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You? Nervous? With all that power you're able to wield? Yeah, I mean, this is a new experience for all of us. Am I right, guys? <laughs> guys? Guys! Whoa, sorry. I was lost in this beautiful girl's eyes. Oh, you mean my eyes? Only your eyes, baby. Oh, please, I'm blushing. Stop it. But seriously, never stop. I love you. Say what again? Oh, my. It's always the same with you two. I was asking if you guys are nervous because we both are. Rude? Mm, come to think about it. Yeah, man. Well, we're all pretty prepared, but the whole thing is a little bit scary. And it makes me a little nervous that we're going to face the last Olympic champs. Yeah, I agree. That's a little intimidating, but this sweet honey bun here makes me feel that everything will be okay. Oh, you too, baby? But now, I'm wondering how the island will be. Well, you remember that presentation where Petra explained the whole thing to us, don't you? Wait, no, I don't remember. Okay, team, pay attention because this is vital oh information. God. I'm going to explain the general aspects of your coming deployment on the Olympic Island. An island? Yes, my dear Ryan. The Games, or should I say the Olympics, will happen on an island specifically designed for that purpose. The island will be sectored into various biomes, which means there will be different environmental settings as follows. You will find beaches, of course, because it's an island. But you will also find different kinds of mountains, jungles, and scorching deserts. Each team will be dropped off at their own base. Did you say dropped? Dropped how? Don't From the sky, of course. I guess if I was the Dean of Sky Academy, I'd have a nice pun or joke for this particular procedure, but I have Petra. nothing. A anyways, you'll all be using parachutes to glide off of an airplane safely to the oh island. Oh my. Okay, uh -huh. so these different biomes or environments will have their own Olympic totem for you to win. At the end of the competition, whoever holds two or more totems and makes it to the large volcano in the center of the island wins that phase. I can't right. believe we'll be parachuting onto an island! Oh, and I almost forgot an important detail. Special consideration will be given to brave, tenacious, or selfless actions. I'm sure I'll be getting one of those. Thanks for the recap. To be honest, <laughs> I wasn't paying much attention. Matt wrote me a poem and- Oh, come on! Yeah, I was a little absent-minded, too. Her eyes just transported me away from any place and- Stop flirting! <gasps> Wait a minute! Did you say we're parachuting on the island? Yes. I did. Oh, now that makes sense. All those weird parachuting videos we saw after the Dean's presentation? Really? We are about to arrive at the <laughs> airport, like kids. Fortnite. Make sure you grab all your luggage with you. Oh, and double check Wait everything. The There's something a little time. shady. What do they mean with that part about special consideration for brave, tenacious, or selfless actions? Huh. 
I have no idea, man. Maybe they'll give us medals or just special items from the sky like in that movie with the games. No, 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 no. It's all in the word consideration. They'll be more considerate with the ones who accomplish those goals. I'm thinking a nice condo away from the mosquitoes and bugs of the jungle. That would be really nice. Yeah. I'm going to ask for a missile-equipped drone for protection. I'll have to consider my options. Got it? <laughs> oh, wow, that was... wow, you guys don't spare on resources, did you, Alfie? Alfred, Alfred stop calling me Alfie. This is your fault, Petra. Now you have to answer their questions. Of course, we didn't hold back on anything. Oh, wow. We made sure to do everything in our power to give you the best possible experience. Do you have any more doubts you want to resolve before boarding the plane? Hmm. Will this be dangerous? I mean, besides jumping from a moving plane into an unknown island? Yeah, good question. I happen to have a not-too-nice dream that might be related to this whole thing. Well, um, about the plane... Of course you'll be jumping from a moving plane. Jumping from a parked plane would just be... Well... Jumping, I suppose. As for the competition, as dangerous as any real-life situation you might encounter. I mean, you can see this whole event as a big and complex exercise on your careers. Kind of like a test. But instead of grades, you work for fame and glory. Fame and glory. I like the sound of that. I think I'm ready to go. As ready as we'll ever be! Okay, team! Get on the plane, and remember to have fun as you give your best fight! Life Academy! Wait, Aaron? Yeah, I'm not saying that. Okay. <laughs> um, are you a very fun that you can talk back to it? It's taking longer than I expected it to. Yeah, I'm already bored. Hey, Alfie? When are we going to get there? To the island, I mean. I'm not even going to correct you this time. Oh, but I do have a nice surprise. You all wanted to know when we're going to arrive? Well, now. Right now. We're all ready over the island, so get your parachutes ready, double-check everything, and get ready to jump on my mark. This whole plot seems pretty familiar. You know, it's funny how everything is about parachuting onto islands in battle royales nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Go, go, go! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you're enjoying this year's edition of the Inter Academy Olympics. We talk on behalf of Life Academy, this year's hosts and showrunners. The guy next to me is Thomas, a professor for our first year students, as well as being a shadow user. And this fine gentleman who oh, introduced me is none other than Alfie, right, professor yeah, for the yeah. second years and our logistics man in this Olympics. Alfred! My name is Alfred! At least I get it. <clears throat> As you can see, we are starting phase one of the competition by dropping the four teams into one of four different biomes, or environments, of this isolated island. We already saw Life Academy being dropped over the snowy mountain range. As for Terror Academy, they were dropped in a desert. Hmm, well, I think that could be a nice starting point for them, giving their abilities. Don't you think, Thomas? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't really know much about them. What do you mean? We were all given a little brief about the participants. Oh, I know. I just didn't read it. How's it the kids say? <laughs> TLDR? You didn't read it? And what is that supposed to mean? How should I know? Anyway, it's up to each team to learn how to take advantage of their initial environment. Continuing with the drop sites, we can see that the Shadow Academy team has been dropped over a swamp. <laughs> Very appropriate. And finally, our friends from Sky Academy are gliding over a wide section of rainforest as we speak. Thank you, Thomas. We have to go back to the coverage of the Academy's activities. But stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for we'll be right back with more tips and information shortly. You don't want to miss today's guest anchor, so stay with us. Now, let's get back to the action. Okay. We're in a snowy area. Whoa! That was awesome! Let's do it again sometime! Oh yeah! It was fantastic! But I think we need to start camping soon. I'm freezing! Yes, please. 
We need to take cover quickly. Are we gonna stay here in the cold? Nonsense. Let's move down to a warmer zone and camp there. Yeah, Mr. Sunshine here is right. Let's climb down the mountain and find a better place to set up camp. Oh wow, I was expecting Aaron to come back. That looks like a good place. It would be nice to be near a river or a creek. We'll need a water supply. And away from insects, please. I won't be able to sleep with bugs around me. All of that makes sense. Those are like basic survival okay, tips. Okay, let's look for a water source. One bathroom break later. Okay, I'm back. Then once we found a nice spot, we'll need to find firewood for the night. No, no, no. Stop it with the National Geographic Adventure Show tips. We have to act fast. We don't have time to lose making camp and exploring the area for wood like we're some noobs or something. We need to focus on the objective and go for it. Right now. Maybe you're right. I have an idea. While we take care of the camp, you get ahead and scout the area. Look for opponents and tell us everything you discover. That way, we can decide what to do and where to go. Okay, makes sense. G good idea, dork. I'll scout the area right away. Nice job, Brian. We got rid of him for a while. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are they stop their parachutes on the back? Well, that's the water area. Alright. Oh, wow. Thank goodness we set up camp. I would feel nervous without a place to establish. Yep, everything's on track. Now, when Aaron comes back, you won't have another option than staying here with us. We're a team, after all. It's better to stick together. I'm already a little tired. Do you guys think it would be smart if we rest a little? You know, like seizing the calm before the storm? She's right. We don't know when we'll be able to rest again. Sounds great. I'm starving. Can we make some food first? I have the perfect tool for that with me. I was wondering why you had that huge backpack. <laughs> We're all set. We're glad to be back. Yes, Hi. Thomas. Let us welcome to our guest tonight, the one and only Mr. Bubble Sky, Dean of the Sky Academy. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor for me to be here. Well, Bubble, let's start with a very simple question. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but... What is with that name of yours? I mean, really? Bubbles? Serious? I don't know, it sounds too... Powerpuff for my taste. Does your name talk about your personality? Uh... Well, of course not. I am much more than what my name suggests. Yeah. Come to think about it, it takes a lot of courage to ask that when everybody calls you Elfie. Wow! He doesn't have fire wounds, but you still got burned. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Uh, you have to admit, that was a good one, Alfie. It's Alfred! <clears throat> anyway, Bubbles, tell us a little more about Sky Academy. Well, Alfie, we Alfred. at Sky Academy have had a reputation of amassing those with unique personalities and those with strong mental fortitude. I could say that's the basic premises we have in mind when choosing our students. People who attend this school are usually a lot more than they appear, just like myself with my name. You might think at first glance that our members are somewhat weird and odd on the outside, but I can assure you we are cunning and hard-working on the inside. I founded this academy with the goal to gather those that would be shunned due to their personality and traits, and have them embrace who they are. Very, very interesting. Sounds a little bit like a recipe for chaos to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, Alfie. Fortunately, I have a very competent assistant and a strong set of policies that prevents us from wreaking havoc. So, long story short, we are very chill people, not to be underestimated. Excellent summary, Bubbles. Thank you for being here tonight. And to close the segment, could you tell us how we're going to identify Sky members on site? Be sure to spot our uniform colors. We work with silver white, light blue, and yellow. Sky Bubbles from Sky Academy, everyone. Now, let us go back to the action and see what the life team is up to. Why 
I ate anything? Oh my gosh, that was delicious! I think I ate Aaron's rations. Oh no! <laughs> Did anyone save anything for him? Of course, his ration is safe. He's not my favorite person in the world, but I'm not letting him starve. Oh, you're such a nice person. Like Matt said before, we're a team, and we need to act like that. It's just like that superhero movie where they have a war among them. What was the tagline? United we stand? Divided we sit down? How couldn't I love her, huh? But that's right. If we are divided, it's easier to sit down. Right. That made sense and isn't too weird. Now, let's get serious. What do you guys think about the other academies? Those shadow guys make me nervous. That's all I know about them so far. Yeah, me too. I mean, I don't even understand shadow powers. What do they do exactly? Yeah, they haven't taught us much about them. Uh, I'm sure Aaron must know something. We should ask him when he gets back. Yeah, he's taking his time with that scouting thing, isn't he? Oh my goodness, that's chocolate! <sighs> Oh, is that the Gotcha. You're a bad, bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was the video all this was probably recorded yesterday thank you so much for watching if you like the video please leave a like if you love the video subscribe to my channel for more videos but and you can check out the video i react to in the description down below and my twitter in the description down below and um tomorrow is probably the first day of school so um good luck in your days of school and i'll see you in the next video bye guys